Hey y'all, Southern Gaming Dude back here once again for more of that open XCOM. So let's hope today goes better. <laughs> Cause damn, that last video, holy shit, that was bad. That did not go well at all. Hopefully you guys found that entertaining though. And it looks like we got Alien uh, Origins done, so that's good. Let's see here. Okay. Yep, fine losing battle and all that. Yep, yep, yep. So I'll leave that there for you guys to read there. But basically, we need an alien leader captured alive, if I remember right. Let's see. What can we research now? Mm. Let's see. We could do plasmas. Um, let's do UFO navigation. I forget what that does, but we'll find out. We will find out. We'll have all this research at some point anyways. Well, assuming we don't, like, lose the freaking game, which is a possibility. What I really want to do right now is get the hyperwave decoder. So, uh-oh. Yeah, that didn't go too well. So Russia is unhappy with the ability to deal with alien activity. And it reduces, yeah, we get, we just lost money, basically. So that's unfortunate. We're still doing pretty good on uh, money though I'm thinking about making a new base I am very very like I don't know I'm on the fence about it probably manufacturing laser cannons okay mmm yeah I think we're gonna build a new base let's see where do we want to build it mmm I don't know I didn't really think about this at all I don't really have any strategies for this, but uh, we'll put one like over here-ish. Yeah, let's just put it in Central Asia. That sounds good to me. So we're going to call this, I don't know. I don't want to just call it like Asia. We're, we're going to call this the party house because I feel like calling it the party house. I don't know. We're just calling it that. So. Okay, let's build some facilities here. We're going to need a... Where's the hangar at? There it is. Right, we're going to have to connect it right there. I don't think I can start these yet. Yeah, there has to be something existing there. It's going to take 25 days. So we can uh, put one thing down here. Let's start with the living quarters. And once these are done, we can start adding more to it. Alright, that'll do for now. Until that happens, uh, we can't really do anything. Oh, I should have started with the radar, actually. Oh, well. It's alright. I don't think our... Yeah, it wouldn't matter if we had a radar, actually. Never mind. Looks like we got an alien ship coming in. A large one. Let's see what he does. Are we getting invaded? Uh, he kind of just disappeared. That was weird. Oh, he must have landed here. There might be an alien base here, actually. Here, let's... uh. Let's take the... I think it was over here that he stopped. Let's see if we can find it. You guys got alien base over here? In Canada? Let's see. Let's just, uh... Let's just patrol there. Let's take an interceptor out, too. Let's put the interceptor right there. And we got one on standby, ready to go. Okay, I don't see anything. That's weird. Let's, uh... Let's move over here a little ways. Hmm. Usually when you see ships do that, um, like alien ships do that, there's usually like a alien base in the area. They might be doing something else. They may be like doing something to Canada. Maybe they're starting a base. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we just can't see it yet. I need to set those to sell. I almost made a mistake there. Okay. So we'll just let them hang out there. I don't think there's anything there, but we'll just wait until they run out of fuel. Okay, we can intercept this one. Let's use this interceptor. That's a small. Maybe we can shoot this one down and possibly get a navigator alive. And we lost tracking. That is really unfortunate. Alright. So let's start waiting. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I probably need to bring back the Sky Ranger. Have it refuel just in case we need it. That's going to take a little while to do that. Looks like a whole lot of nothing going on today so far. We researched that though. Alright, little alien looking dude there. 
kind of looks like a this little part right here kind of looks like an NES controller with one button right there it looks like the d-pad that's weird <laughs> they're nuts uh, I don't think that's what they intended it to look like it, it looks like that to me kind of but yeah there's some um, flavor text if you want to check that out there and we can now construct the flying suit, which is pretty cool, but we don't really have the materials for it at the moment. And apparently we can uh, research, uh, well, we can't make the flying suit, we can research the flying suit, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, research this, though. Might as well get it out of the way. We really need to begin some more materials. Usually I end up with a hyperwave decoder super early in the game. And, yeah, that's what you want. Basically, you want to shoot down a bunch of small UFOs, but we haven't really got a ton of them. And when I do get them, I end up killing the navigator, or he just dies in the crash or whatever. But, yeah, we really need to capture a live alien navigator so we can get that hyperwave decoder so we can... It's best radar in the game. It's amazing. Okay, that's done. Let's see, what do we need here? What do we need? We need like everything, of course. Let's get a large radar going so we can find more small UFOs. And what else can we do? Probably just another living quarters. And I don't really want to do laboratory and stuff here. Uh, we need general stores to store stuff for sure. So we'll do that for now. All right. No, a whole lot's happening still. I guess we'll just keep making laser cannons for now. There we go. Let's go ahead and um, actually make two of those. Um, and yeah, they'll be for the uh, interceptor at the other base for when we get one anyways. All right, that's complete. Let's, uh, that was really fast. All right, let's go ahead and make some more of these for profit. I'm not even sure if this is the best item to choose to uh, sell for profit, but it's what I've been doing. It seems to work. It's not too bad. All right, let's um, go ahead and transfer some stuff to the party house over here. Um, let's see here. What do we need? What do we need? We need a lot of stuff, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Where is it? There it is. Laser cannon. Oh, right. We don't have the general stores building right yet. Well, we can't send anything until that's done. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, for the love of God, shoot this ship down, guys. Please shoot it down. We need something to do this episode. And he's a really fast son of a bitch. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I would like to have a mission please that is not a terror mission all right we got ufo construction done that's cool if you want to read that as always just pause and check it out new fighter craft that would be handy actually that would actually solve a lot of problems um let's go ahead and research that it probably costs a lot of delirium though and some of these uh, newer ships later, um, I believe they use Illyrium as fuel, so yeah. That's what, that's one of the reasons you just never sell Illyrium. It's just used in so much stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, do we have our guys ready? I think we do. Let me double check, just to be sure. Alright, let's see how they're looking here. Uh, yeah, they look pretty good. Okay. A lot of them are rookies, though, which is really unfortunate. We have our tank on board. Alright. Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. Let's intercept that bitch. Please be daytime. Okay, it's going to be daytime when we get there, at least. That's fantastic. I don't like doing terror missions at night for obvious reasons. Wow, that's like right next to our secondary base. All right, let's hope this goes better than the last one. And if we could get something that isn't like super advanced aliens or like uh, freaking chrysalids. I don't want chrysalids again. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get those. Let's just double check this. Looks like everything's in order, except I want that right there. 
And we got freaking snake men again. And, well, guess what comes with snake men usually? Chrysalids. So we're going to end the video here. And hopefully next time we don't get shot in the face by this dipshit over here. We're going to shoot him in the face, hopefully. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.